Hello, my name is Marianne DeMarco, and I will be your host for Forever Green 13, a production of InternetNewsNetwork.com's investigative report on Going Green, which consists of two topics only. Number one, U.S. government financial incentives available today to go green. Number two, U.S. government forms required to squeeze out every financial incentive. And now to Mr. Lavernsky. Laverne, what did people ask about this week? Marianne, Marianne, what's this paper jam all about? As the investigative report shows, the lackluster pace of the U.S. to go green is the result of a paper jam. 90% of the American people want home rule solar electricity. But only 100,000 certified green homes have been built since 1997. Where's the disconnect? This paper jam extends throughout the construction trades. Ask the average homeowner or building inspector what a HERS inspection is, Home Energy Rating System, which is the first requirement for any of these forms, and they don't have a clue. Marianne, you're interviewing three types, three types of people. Who are they? Untangling this paper jam with one click of the printer won't be easy. To make this TV show, Forever Green 13, a success, we need your help. During the show, we will interview three types of people. The first type of person, all the experts related to the technology requirements and financial incentives you need to go green. The HERS tester, the lead certifiers, the EEM, EIM mortgage lender, the technology suppliers, the architect, the appraiser, realtor, construction, contractor and tradespersons, the insurance agent, the utility company, and the maintenance company experts. Stay forever green, 13. And the second type of person? A person who has actually done some of these green home things. The third type of person? Someone who knows almost nothing about going green. Marianne, can I sell back the electricity that I produce to the utility company? Arizona is one of the states that allow for net metering. Net metering means that you can sell back to the utility company all the excess energy your home produces at peak prices which will only go up during the life of an average 30-year mortgage. Your home can either buy at peak prices for 30 years or it can sell at peak prices for 30 years. Yes, your electrical meter actually does go backwards. Most folks aren't home during the day, so the energy produced in full sunlight is all gravy. And for the snowbirds, it's a complete wind fall. Marianne, what about this ZEH Plus kit home? Forever Green 13 will be broadcasting the breaking ground and building of the first ZEH Plus kit home to be built in all of Arizona. A kit of pre-cut materials delivered on a flatbed truck to be constructed on site that will produce more electricity than it needs for resale back to the utility company for under $150,000 excluding land. The ZEH Plus Kit Home Construction will also be a live video broadcast through the internet 24-7, 365 so that you can log on and learn as we ourselves learn more through the process. Seminars will be held at the ZEH Plus Kit Home and volunteers will receive training on these cutting edge technologies, materials, building practices, and financial benefits of going green. Stay forever green 13. Marianne, how much are these forms worth to me as a homeowner? A typical example is the average home can get $30,000 worth of energy efficient products and services selected for you from three categories. Number one, weatherization. Number two, energy efficient appliances. And number three, energy production hardware. 
Weatherization includes caulking, weather stripping, insulation, doors, windows, awnings, shades, and porches. Energy efficient appliances are all the latest Energy Star U.S. Department of Energy rated appliances, including HVAC. And energy production includes solar hot water, so solar photovoltaic panels, and wind solar turbines, batteries, and DC to AC electrical inverters. Approximately $20,000 of the $30,000 is completely eliminated by the right combination of U.S. government forms in the form of tax deductions, tax deferments, tax credits, and outright tax rebates. The remaining $10,000 takes the form of an EEM for new construction or an EIM for a remodel, averaging a super low interest rate that is tax deductible of $50 per month. Marianne, if, if all this is true, why doesn't everybody know about it? Unfortunately, governments are not known for their marketing ability. They passed all these laws, creating these forms, a little at a time, since 1973. And all these forms are buried in a dozen government departments, from the Department of Energy to the Department of Defense. Now to Forming Your Wallet with Jeffrey DeMarco, where Jeffrey will help you squeeze out every financial incentive to go green. Are you serious? I can save green by going green? What do you mean? Hello, and welcome to Forming Your Wallet. I'm Jeffrey DeMarco. Did you know that there are 67 United States government forms that if you knew where they were, and you knew how to fill them out correctly, and you knew how to process them, the financial incentives for you to go green are off the chart. Where do I find this stuff? It's my job every week to show you which form, where it is, how to fill it out, and how to process it to squeeze out every penny that the government gives you to go green. I saved energy money to create my own electric. <laughs> and thanks for tuning in to Forming Your Wallet, where every week I'm going to show you exactly where to save you money. Back to you, Marianne. Save green, going green, if you know what I mean. Jeffrey, thank you for forming our wallet. Please keep trying to save us every penny you can. Save us some green by going green. Marianne, are there financial incentives for both residential and commercial? Financial incentives exist for both residential and non-residential buildings. Do these financial incentives and technical advances apply to non-residential construction as well as residential building and remodeling? You bet your sweet bippy they do. Each category, whether it be non-residential, residential, rural, low income, Native American, veteran, builder, owner, new, remodel, requires a different set of forms in different combinations in order to squeeze out every financial incentives. And if you happen to be rural, low-income, veteran, and Native American, the incentives are off the chart. Now, if any of you folks out there have any questions about going green, email me, lavernsky at forevergreen13. Thank you, Laverne. We look forward to your future questions next week. Stay forever green, 13. Sunshine Hi, Mr. Forever Green Jeans. Is there anything we never ever talk about on our show? Remember, we never talk about global warming, war for oil, predatory practices of oil companies, national security, pollution, cap and trade carbon credits, cafe standards for cars, polar bear drownings, sea risings, Al Gore's academic award, and Nobel Peace Prize, spiritual good stewards of the earth teachings, etc. See, in this day and age, there's been so much talk 
and not enough action. Well, through this program, we have ways that you can act. Back to you, Marianne.